And folks, according to the National Brain Tumor Society, one million Americans are currently living with a brain tumor. Holly Gainsborough and Michelle Scollins are here to tell us about a walk that funds research and much more for patients needing a cure. Thank you so much for both of you for, for being here, number one. Thank you for having us. Of course. Uh, uh, Holly, let's start with you. Um, look, brain tumors are something extremely serious, uh, something that, that people need to learn more about and we're all learning more about. Uh, how were you originally connected to uh, the National Brain Tumor Society? Well, thank you for asking. So my late husband, Stephen Gainsborough, was diagnosed with glioblastoma in February 2009. He survived 22 months, not as long as we would have liked, but it's the time that was given. And he died December 11, 2010. So I found myself really pulled to be present for other people in the brain tumor world. And I found meaning, Jorge, in honoring him by sharing this event that is coming up in a couple of weeks. And this is the 10th year of doing it. This is our 10th anniversary of the event. And I've been involved with MBTS for that amount of time as well. And it really does bring the community together. I will tell you that when you're a patient or a caregiver, you're a loved one, a family member, sure. living in the brain tumor world, it can be feel very isolating. And this event brings the community together. It brings them to a place of feeling supported, comforted, and hopeful. And Michelle, tell me a little bit about the National Brain Tumor Society's, not only their mission statement, but what this event is all about. Yeah, absolutely. So. You know, at the National Brain Tumor Society, we're, we're really fueled by just making sure that if a patient is diagnosed with a brain tumor, they have a better chance. And so what I mean by that is a better chance at survival, a better chance at a decent quality of life, and a better chance at finding that community that Holly spoke so well about. I mean, it's, it's truly only because of wonderful members like her that we're able to put on events like this in the community. Um, and the 10th one at that in the Charlotte area, this one actually kicks off our signature events from coast to coast. So we have a number of different events that take place all across the country um, throughout the remainder of the year. Um, and we would love to have anyone join us there. And it's all about research and getting as much as we can so we can learn more about this. How can people raise money for that research, Holly? Okay, well, join our event. Go to braintumor.org, mm -hmm. click events. That'll take you to the Carolina event. Register yourself, register a team, and get out there and put it all over your social media mm -hmm. and raise that money. Because that fundraising does go to research, which we know and hope one day we'll find that cure. Mm -hmm. And it also goes to the awareness. Not everybody's aware. It's a rare disease, but when it's your loved one. I, I was just going to piggyback on that. Michelle, wh why is it so important to raise that awareness? Because uh, literally, this is something, you, oh, it could never happen to me. Exactly. Or, and then it does. Yep. Yeah. Somebody you know, somebody you're connected to. Absolutely. Um, you know, I've been at the National Brain Tumor Society for just a few months now. And even since then, the number of people within my own network yeah. that have experienced this, you know, it's 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 insurmountable, just the number of people that are living with this daily yeah. um, across the country. So it's really important um, to get out there and get involved. And at the National Brain Tumor Society, we help fund that research so that we can ultimately develop and discover treatments to one day find a cure. Um, we also have advocacy, like Heidi mentioned. Um, so there's all sorts of different ways that our organization is, is trying to just really improve the lives of those. And the only way that we can do that is through donations and through yeah. uh, more funds to, to help continue moving the mission forward. So I want to put your information up on the screen so people know where to find you guys. This cause is, is personal to me because my best friend uh, currently has a glioblastoma as well, uh, stage two of it, and his brother does as well. So I know how important it is to have research, how important it is to raise money. I can't thank both of you enough for giving us that information and for giving the community and sharing that information with everyone. Thank you. Thank yes. you. It's an honor.